Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Come inside as we take a look at Thor and Bella versus Aeon Flux. That's right, we're taking a look at Snow White and the Huntsman, starring Kristen Stewart, Chris Hemsworth, and Charisse Theron. Now, we know the tale of Snow White and the Queen not wanting Snow White to be the fairest of them all, so she ha gets the Huntsman to try to go out and kill Snow White, and we know the story from there. Folks, though, this isn't your, oh, welcome, let's sing with the birds type of Snow White. No, this is your dirtier, darker, grittier, grim fairy tales feel of Snow White, which is exactly what you want for a more mature telling of this classic tale. Now, Chris Hemsworth was great as the Huntsman. I loved his accent and his performance in this, exercising some acting chops, and he does great as the reluctant guy who doesn't want to do what he needs to do, but has to do because he's given no choice. So, loved his role in that, and he did very well. Great, strong performance by Chris. Charisse Theron, for the most part, did fantastic as the Queen. Loved her Queen, her uh, self- absorbed, just constantly focused on beauty. Queen, uh, who also, you know, is doing all these things to try to stay young. She's got some powers. Now, her dialogue did just get a little bit over the top in, in some of the scenes, but it was fitting for the character, so it didn't take away from her character or the scene she was in, but it was a little bit going, wow, that was a little bit too much there. Tone it back just a little bit, Sharice. So she did fantastic as well. And then let's talk about the dwarves. A surprise casting here. I didn't really uh, notice too much of the casting going into the film, but you got Bob Hoskins and Ian McShane in here, and you had Ray Rins Winstone in here, and you had Nick Frost, and all these other great characters playing the dwarves who weren't just your comic relief, okay? These were some serious, kick-ass dwarves, and though they did have some humorous moments, it was fitting, didn't take away from the seriousness of their characters, and I love the performance of everybody especially Bob Hoskins. Getting to see Bob Hoskins on the screen again was great, okay? So I loved their characters and their role in the story. Now, you do get a little fanciful at one point in the film, but it's a fairy tale, and at that point in the film, you don't mind it. It's a gorgeous look, and uh, the cinematography in this film was fantastic, so definitely had a great feel there. The about a few weak points in some of the dialogue, okay, and some of the things that went on in the plot, like with the battle going, okay, these guys should really be getting their asses kicked, okay? So there's some parts in there that were a little weak, and the most weakest point, as you can probably guess, unfortunately, is Kristen Stewart, you know, the gaping maw. You know, that look she gets that she had in Bella, and we didn't see in The Runaway, but we get here, you know, she gets to this serious point, and it's just like, and she's got the one expression, maybe two, like somebody rammed a rod up her rear end, you know? I would love to see more expression. Now, you do get hints of that from her role when she's not being the main focus of the camera. I don't know if she still gets camera fright or, or what, but maybe it was the direction that they were trying to give her, but in the parts where she wasn't the main focus of the camera, I actually liked her. She seemed to loosen up a bit in her character, and she didn't quite seem so stiff, but when she does get in front of the camera, she does seem to stiffen up a bit, and even when we get to the epic kind of speech, and just, it was just in general, she just seems a little still too stiff in front of the camera. And for a role like this, you need someone with a little more emotion. So unfortunately, she was about the weakest point in the film. And some of the dialogue, uh, though, you know, was, was fitting for the story, was a bit cheesy. And, uh, but special effects in there, also uh, really good, decent special effects. And like I said, the camera work was excellent for the most part. Except for the battles with the shaky camera. But then again, you're t dealing with PG-13, so go figure. You're going to have shaky cam during action scenes. Don't get me started on PG-13. Three and a half stubs, folks, from me for Snow White and the Huntsman. Overall, a great uh, great performance, great body of work, definitely worth your time, at least for a matinee. A lot of fun and visuals going on, great look, and hopefully we can see a little more uh, emotional uh, acting from Kristen Stewart because she's getting these great you know performances uh, from people around her that make her look really good she's kind of like Nick Cage in that you know she's got all these great actors around her to make her look really good and I'd like to see her really stand on her own as a good actress because it, the potential's there we just haven't quite seen the director to bring it out of her yet and hopefully we will soon and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut till next time keep that ticket stuff.